Well, hey guys, this is Beefy Guy, and I love my compost. Everybody knows that. We're all full of compost. And this is my trash can composter. It's working out pretty decent. The only problem is it's full, kind of like me, full of compost. So we need to make a new composter, and we're going to make this guy right here. This is a uh, tumbling compost, pretty easy to make. And that's what we're doing on this episode of Around the Home. talk about the materials that we're going to need for this. First off, you're going to need a barrel. This is a 55 gallon drum. It's the same thing that I used on the garden barrel. It's got the, uh, the two bung holes there. And uh, this will work fine. It's a little sloped if you look at it. You can see over here on this side. It slopes down, so we're going to need to make sure that our wheels get properly aligned so they're not uh, on a slope and it, it'll uh, roll funny. I was looking for one of those 60 gallon uh, pickle jars with a screw lid. That would be really nice because I would like to uh, on one end um, put a little hatch to make it easier to get the compost out once it's completed. So those little screw lids would help. So if you can find those, that'd be great. If not, just make sure that your barrel has housed uh, food safe materials and clean it out really well. We're gonna need uh, four sticks of uh, just scrap lumber. These are actually leftover pieces from my deck. I believe these were uh, sections of the stairs. Who knows? But we're gonna need some that are gonna be a little bit longer than the barrel. Those are gonna be our two skids on the bottom. And then we'll need two for the cross pieces. You're also gonna need some sort of wheels. Uh, this is what I had. Uh, they, they swivel. Yours don't have to swivel. We're just gonna need to uh, have some decent wheels that are gonna move so the uh, barrel will roll on them. Going to need a measuring material, something to cut the wood with, a uh, nice square mark material, that sort of thing. And then some screws or nails to uh, fasten all this material together. And then we're going to use a one inch paddle bit to drill holes into the um, side of the barrel for ventilation once we're done. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is essentially we're going to make an H um, with these two uh, pieces of wood here as our cross pieces. We're gonna to need to figure out how wide we're gonna to need to make our uh, our platform. So let's measure out the uh, diameter of this barrel, and that's pretty much gonna kind of give us an idea as to how wide we're gonna to need to make this. All right, so this is the uh, the layout that I got here. Uh, the two skid pieces are about 49 inches long, and I found the center, and I measured out seven inches. Now this board and this board are two by sixes, so I measured seven inches out. And uh, they're about 32 inches long. So let me show you what the barrel will look like on top. And essentially what we'll do is we'll put our wheels here and here. Um, and we'll have to figure out exactly where we need to lay that so we get a good tight fit on the barrel. This is kind of what we're looking for when we're done. Uh, this is just a rough placement. Once I get the wheels on, it won't move so much. Now you can do anything you want with the frame. I mean, you can make it to where the barrel is gonna be higher so it's easier to uh, load and unload. You can you know, do an X brace with two four by fours and put the wheels in there. You could even do the, there's a, a couple options with a, a pipe through the, uh, the actual barrel itself. I just figured this would be pretty easy with just the, uh, the little skateboard wheels and uh, just a couple scraps of wood. So let's screw all this together and then we'll start placing the wheel. Okay, here's the wheel set up. I went ahead and tested it out, but what I did is I measured from uh, the flat end, I went in 10 inches and that's where I started my wheel. And then I went in to the 20 inch mark on the second wheel. So there's, uh, you know, there's about 10 inches between here, between the first start of the wheel and the start of the second wheel. You'll have to play with that and figure out what works best for the barrel that you have. Um, the fact that I have swivel wheels allows me to, um, you know, not be as precise because my wheels can move a little bit to where they need to be. If they were rigid, they, uh, you might need to be, have a little bit tighter tolerance. Let me slap the barrel up. I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see that the barrel is resting right on the wheels. Obviously when there's weight, I'll work a little bit better but as you can see they just roll 
Now, it will roll side to side. It'll adjust side to side there, but I don't think you'll have a problem with it. All right, so I made a slight adjustment. I brought both these boards an inch in on either side, so I'm now six inches off the of center. And that allows the wheels to line up a little bit better. They were getting a little bit too close to the edge, and when you rolled it, it wanted to kind of move the barrel onto the, uh, the slope portion. You may need to adjust depending upon, uh, you know, what barrel you have and, and what type of frame you're building. But the next thing I got to do is uh, put the doors in. You can see that we've uh, drilled in the one inch uh, aeration holes every couple inches around the edge and we'll see if that's enough. If need be, we can always put some smaller half inch or quarter inch holes randomly around to provide more aeration. But all the ones online have the one inch on the side. All right, so we need to uh, put our door on here so we can add our compost. So a couple of things to consider is to make sure that wherever you place your door, when you roll it, it's not gonna run into your wheels. And uh, this barrel that you can see right here has a, a little ridge and uh, we can use that to kind of keep uh, you know keep our barrel in place and so I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll make a little door right here and uh, see if maybe we can make it wide enough to put a shovel in and that way we could uh, shovel compost out through that whole opening if you uh, if you want to all right, so once you have your um, your door cut out, keep in mind that it's gonna be hinged, so you're gonna to wanna to lock that into place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some hinges here on the bottom, and then I'm gonna use some barrel uh, locks up here on the, the sides, <clears throat> and that should keep it nice and secure. Now my opening is fairly large. I could probably put a small shovel in there and get things out if I need to. Also keep in mind that all this plastic stuff from the uh, drill in the one inch holes, it's all recyclable. So make sure to recover those uh, pieces and throw them in the recycle bin. To uh, attach these hinges and the, uh, the barrel locks, I'm gonna be using a, um, a three quarter inch screw. It's basically a nut and a bolt set. It's a number eight, um, number eight, 32 by three quarter inch. So you can find that at Home Depot and they're pretty cheap. I figured that would be a little bit easier than using uh, pop rivets, although you could use pop rivets, you could use screws, whatever you feel like. Anything to hold the door in place. So let's attach the door. Okay, so you can see I have one of these barrel bolts. This one does like that. Pretty simple. I'll put one here and here. That'll help retain the shape because since this barrel is curved, this wants to uh, curve in a little bit on a deeper curve once it's cut off the barrel. And then see I got two hinges down here at the bottom. Now, I said I was using three quarter inch screws, or bolts, I'm sorry, you could probably get away with half inch. You know, these are a bit long, but no worries. I'm not too worried about it. So I just gotta put another one and another two on, and then we're ready to roll. All right, so here we have all the barrel bolts on. I had an extra one, so I decided to put it right here because the ends were kind of curling in a little bit. I also hit this area with my heat gun a little bit, just try to uh, soften it up and get everything to line up nice. So one of the things that we need to do on here is uh, we need to put in some paddles or baffles or whatever they're going to be called. It's essentially the same thing that's in your dryer, but if you look in here, you know, we got water. If we have our compost sliding through here, without some sort of baffle or paddle to kind of bounce that stuff around, we're not gonna get a good tumbling action. So let me show you what I got for this. So this is just a, uh, a chunk of uh, gutter. It's a square piece of PVC gutter. And um, I just kind of cut it in half and I got two of them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put screws in there or bolts and just kind of put it in there like that. And that's gonna act as a um, sort of agitator, if you will. So when we spin it, the um, the compost will tumble. And so let's get that put in there. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, you can see in here, I just drilled two holes and put in this baffle paddle, whatever you want to call it. And I angled it slightly on both of them so that they uh, 
they may uh, you know move things around a little bit as opposed to just moving it in the same location it may help a little bit on mixing so that's pretty much about it at this point I need to uh, paint it maybe wash it off before I do that but I gotta wait for a sunny day to do that but uh, if you have a black barrel already then you don't need to worry about painting it but uh, I want to have a dark colored barrel not only will that look a little bit better placed out in the yard but it will also um, heat up a little bit and heat the compost and retain that heat a little bit better so if you have a black barrel already then you don't need to worry about that step but I'm gonna use uh, some Krylon fusion paint the uh, Krylon fusion is designed for plastic uh, that's what I used on the uh, garden barrel and for the most part it's it's held up okay uh, there's some peeling parts on there but that's when it got damaged when I moved it to the new spot so I'm just gonna paint this up uh, a nice black or dark green and uh, go from there all right so there's the barrel painted a nice Krylon fusion green now I went ahead and I swapped out my wheels those swivel wheels I think were giving me a problem I was getting too much movement back and forth on the uh, on the actual barrel and it was wanting to kind of slide off and I think the swiveling was the problem but since I was buying wheels anyway I went ahead and picked up these three inch ones they're static and uh, I think they're gonna work out all right and to keep it from uh, sliding I just took some scrap pieces of lumber and just kind of towed them in at the bottom with some screws just to keep it from going side by side those are two by sixes so they're just high enough to just barely catch the barrel and uh, keep it from going so really the only uh, issues that I'm seeing so far that could be a problem is uh, where it bends down here and I'm hoping that'll straighten out over time but that's pretty much about it so one tumbling composter well, that's pretty much about it to the build you know you learn a few things I changed the wheels out but uh, you just need to adapt and uh, this is an easy project and I hope that you will uh, take a spin at it as well and uh, try to get some compost done on your little homestead. Uh, if you want to see the uh, video for the trash can composter, go ahead and click on that one. And until the next time, remember life's an adventure, so go out and have one.